Now, first, South Korean President Moon Jae-in and his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden have agreed to foster a vaccine partnership following their first bilateral summit in Washington. On North Korea, the leaders reaffirmed their goal of achieving complete denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula, vowing continued coordination. For details, we will connect with our senior Blue House correspondent Kim Min-ji, and she is live on the line. Min-ji, tell us more about their bilateral partnership. Right, Kanyang, South Korea and the U.S. will be fostering a comprehensive vaccine partnership to speed up global vaccine supply and contribute to ending COVID-19. At a press conference following the South Korea-U.S. summit at the White House on Friday, President Moon Jae-in said the allies have agreed to couple Seoul's biomedicine manufacturing capacity and Washington's vaccine development capability. Take a listen. Now, the U.S. will also be providing vaccines to South Korea, although not in the form of a swap. The Biden administration had recently announced that it would distribute 80 million vaccine doses globally. Now, the U.S. president said that the vaccines will be given to 550,000 South Korean soldiers, although it's not yet known which company will supply them. Take a listen. We'll provide full vaccinations for all 550,000 of those Korean forces engaging with American forces on a regular basis, both for their sake as well as the sake of the American forces. Now, on North Korea, the leaders agreed to communicate and seek a diplomatic approach for complete denuclearization, expressing hope for a positive response from the regime. Moon said that he and Biden reaffirmed the belief that dialogue between the two Koreas and the U.S. based on their promises was essential to establish peace on the Korean Peninsula. 그 바이든 신 행정부에서 어이그 대북 정책을 굉장히 빠르게 어 재검토를 마무리했다는 말씀을 드립니다. 에, 그것은 그만큼 어 대북 정책을 바이든 정부 외교 정책에서 어 우선 순위를 어 두고 있다는 것을 의미합니다. 에, 또한 그 대북 정책을 검토함에 있어서 한미 간의 아주 긴밀한 Washington recently completed its policy review on North Korea and having decided to take a calibrated approach based on diplomacy for complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Biden announced that Korean-American diplomat Sung Kim, who is an expert on North Korea, as Washington's special envoy to the regime. He also reaffirmed his stance that there must be a denuclearization pledge before he can meet North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Here's Biden. If he made any commitment, then I would meet with him. And if there was a commitment on which we met, and the commitment has to be that there's discussion about his nuclear arsenal. I would make sure that uh, my team had met with his count their counterparts, and I knew exactly what we were meeting on. Now, Friday's summit consisted of private one-on-one -on -one small group talks and an expanded meeting and lasted for about three hours in total. It was the first bilateral between Presidents Moon and Biden. Back to you, Kanyang. All right, our Kim Min-ji from the nation's top office.